good afternoon students in today's lab session we will study the implementation of functions the program that we will cover in this session are to find square root of a number to find factorial of a number to find factorial of a number using recursion here in this program we will use recursive function then to find the gcd we will implement all these programs by using the concept of functions to proceed with your id first program is write a program to find square root of a number Right. In this program, we are very much clear that we require one square root function s q r t, and one number is required. Okay, I will make it in a comment. If we have to implement this function in this program in function, then how we will write? Firstly, we will write simple header files. Hash include i o stream dot h. Then on your dot h. S S Q R T is a mathematical function, so we are going to add one header file here, that is math dot h. Firstly, I will write simple program here. Then I will convert this program by using function. Here you are going to find square root of a number. You require one integer number here. Then you will find the square root. Let's take x equal to s q r t of n. You require the value of n. So I will make one statement here. C out. Enter n here. Then C in. Then I will execute C out x get C H. This is a simple program that I have written without using function. If I compile this, uh, let's define the x here as float value because I know if I find going to find this square root, I may get value in floating points. Okay. Then let's run this program. It says enter n. I said two. The answer is one point four one two. Okay. Let's make one clear second function here. This is a simple program. Okay. When you have to convert your program into function, then how will you write it? I will create. One function here that is int. I will take the name as s q as a function. Then, as you know, if one integer is required here to find the square root of a number, then I will pass one parameter. Which type of function it will become? It will become With the return type and with arguments or parameter, okay. As I am going to pass one parameter here, so it is with parameter. I require single argument here, a single number here, where I can find out the square root. So I will make one function here with the integer type. That is with return type and name of the function is s q, and the category in which your function will fall is with return type and with parameter function. Then I will take the value of float x that you have taken here. I will take that value here instead of in main. Okay. I will write here. Float x 
cos in floor x i am going to calculate the square root then the formula x equal to sqrt that i have used in main so instead in main i will use that formula in my function here then c out x here i am not going to execute the value of x because the value of x will be calculated here i am going to use it in here instead of writing c out i will return the value of x here because in the x my value will be get calculated i have to use the return here return keyword here because i am using the function as with return type if the function is with return type so i have to use the return keyword here if i consider my function here then function will become function with return type and function with parameter float is data type which has defined the variable x then x equal to sqrt where the value of n variable will be get calculated and you will return the value of x now coming to your void main section in your void main section firstly there is a need to write your prototype here i will write the prototype as i have told you there are two ways to write your prototype either you may write by like this or you may use the same as you use the variable in your function definition you can write int n it is not mandatory to write n here it is mandatory to write the number of argument should be same and the type should be same as i am taking argument as a integer type so i am mentioning it in the prototype okay then is void main will be the same clear screen will be the same let's take one integer value here i will enter the value here the value of n will be passed here to the square root i will call the function here this is function calling here i will write here this is function definition that is function prototype and here i call the function as function call these are the three parts of your function one thing is you may ignore all the things or make the program static like if i will not write in can see out can see in and then i can directly pass the value as 2 here okay. it means when so ever you will execute your program your result will be the square root of 2 i will make one c out statement here because i haven't executed the program i just returned the value to execute the program you have to use the c out function here okay let's compile this first then find out the value of square root of 2 okay let me write one statement square root is let's run this code square root is 1 but we know the value of square root of 2 is 1.414 i am getting the right answer but not the complete answer i am not getting the floating points okay what's the reason behind it i have used here float x but instead of using a float x still i am getting one because the function type here that i have used here as a integer type so it will return the value in the form of integer if i want to get the full value with the floating num points then i have to change the type of my function as float here okay then if you are changing the type of your function here you have to change the type of it function in 
prototype uh, in prototype as well as float okay then i will compile it again there is no any error then i will run this now i am getting complete answer as 1.414 this is the fixed program this is not the generalized program but every time when i run this program i will get the same answer that is the square root of 2 but if i want a square root of different number then i will make it generalized that whatsoever i have given in comment i will delete that in comment here i will pass the value of n then in the square root instead of 2 i will use sqn then i will compile it there is no any error enter the number n i will write here 3 now my answer is 1.73 but so even the number you will add here you can find out the square root of that particular number okay now we will make our next program to calculate the factorial of a number here to calculate the factorial of a number you will add simple header files then first i will write the function definition in fact i will take the name of the function as fact and will pass one parameter because i know in the factorial i am going to calculate the factorial of one number okay then i will use the concept int f equal to 1 for int i equal to 1 i is less than equal to n i plus plus and f equal to f into i this is your concept of factorial then return the value of f this is your concept of factorial that how will you calculate the factorial of a number now you have to convert your program or into function then you will write your prototype in fact as there is single argument so you will pass your single argument then the void main section here then clear screen then int n see out enter n see in n here here i will call the function as i am using with return type and with parameter so i will use here see out fact and n would be passed here as an argument i am making it generalized program get ch over this is without any recursive function your program is without any recursive function let's compile it expression syntax is here i plus plus should be there let's compile it again there is no any error let's run enter the value of n i will enter here 5 the calculation is 120 here you can make the program changes in this program i will make some conditions here okay int okay if n is equal to 0 so you are going to give the value of n as 0 as you know the factorial of 0 is 1 so you will write here return 1 with this you will be clarify with the usage of return the next condition is else if if the value of n is less than 1 you know this is the wrong value you can't calculate the factorial of a negative number so you will write here return minus 1 okay that means you are getting wrong value then in the else condition your remaining code will work Let's compile it again. 
declaration is not an allowed type because in else we can't declare the variable you have to declare the variable here okay int f equal to 1 let's compile it again there is no any error then answer is 120 okay let's give the value as 0 answer is 1 factorial of 0 is 1 now give the negative value as minus 2 the answer is minus 1 that is the wrong value okay these are all the three condition that is related when you are going to make one program of factorial this is a simple one but when you get the value as 0 or some negative value then there must be some condition then you put your condition in nested if else by which way you can use the nested if else in your function concept by this way you can write your program okay next comes the factorial of a number using recursion 